Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first episode um, from the in WCNN, Wheelchair Nick Network. And today I have with me uh, one of my best friends, Nathaniel Kramer. This is the second interview of two, and we're going to be talking about his channel, Preaching Musician, and some other things. So let's get started. Nathaniel, I'm really glad to have you with me today. I'm really glad to be here, and uh, I'm excited about this interview. I'm excited too. Let's get started. The first question, uh, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Tell, tell me a little bit about your history, about wanting to do that, because I know you've been wanting to do it for a long time, and things just didn't really work out. So tell me what inspired for uh, inspired you to do this at this particular time. Well, like you said, I've been, I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for a, a long time, ever, even since college. Uh, so we're talking like three, about three or four years I, I had been, not something that I was aggressively pursuing, but I did a few things to try to see what I could do with it, fool around with it. But it wasn't until just a few months ago, it was actually right before I got married, that uh, I really felt like God was telling me that now was the time to start it. Um, I was actually, I remember where I was actually, I was, I was pumping gas at CarMax where I work. And uh, it was just, it was, it was like God was telling me, okay, now's the time to do this. And I didn't know how it was going to work out. And uh, amazingly, and now I have a work schedule where I actually have a, an extra day on my weekend. I'm able to spend an entire day a week working on this. So it's been really great to see uh, how, how God has moved and, and allowed me to do this. It really has been great to see how God is moving and allowing you to do that. Um, your videos are fantastic. You email me uh, before they go on air, and I get to see them, and they are just fantastic. So everybody, I'll just throw a little plug in for you right now. Everybody should go to subscribe to his channel as long as you subscribe to mine first. Okay. Um, That's right. <laughs> The next question I have for you, your channel is called The Preaching Musician. What made you come up with a name like that? That's, a, that's an awesome name. What made you come up with it? Well, I had a couple of name ideas, and to be honest with you, that's the one that wasn't taken, but I think it was probably the best one. Uh, I thought of maybe uh, Singing Preacher Boy, and there's, there's a couple of names that I was throwing around, but Preaching Musician, some, I was thinking of something that pretty much would encompass what I'm doing with the channel, and that's singing and teaching, and, or, and also a little bit of preaching, but mostly teaching. But Preaching, preaching Musician just kind of has a nice ring to it, so that's what, it, that's what we ended up with. I, I like it. I'm pretty pleased with, with, uh, with the name. Yeah, I like it too. It, it, it fits you very well. For those of you who, who, you'll find this out when you go to Nathaniel's channel, but for most of you may not know that Nathaniel is very musically talented, and he is just phenomenal, so you're going to enjoy a lot of his music and his teaching, too. Speaking of music, let me uh, go into that. Have you always uh, loved music? How did you become so involved with music? Has it always been something uh, that you were interested in when you were growing up? Tell us a little bit about your music background. Well, the earliest, one of the earliest memories that I have in my whole life, actually, is when my third birthday, when my dad bought me a, a cassette player, and he had some, uh, some uh, he had a tour group cassette, and we put that in there, and he got a deal on it, and I, I used to play that thing all the time and sing to it, and just, it's, I've always had a, a love for music, even when I was five years old. Now, this is a story my aunt says, but I don't know if it's true. But she says that when I was, uh, not five years old, younger than that, before I knew how to talk, she said that I was singing Amazing Grace. So apparently I've always had a love for music. It's always been a part of me, and it's, it's kept me going through a lot of hard times, and it's, it's been great. It's, it's always, you know, music is a great way to, to lift your spirit and to praise God, and it's just, it's been great uh, over the years. And uh, even in grade school, I've, that's when I started doing groups, singing groups, and it's just evolved over time, and I, even in high school, I got to work with you a lot and doing different groups. Yes, you did. We talked about that in the last interview. It was fun. Yep, so it's been, it's, it's pretty much just been all my life. I don't even remember when I wasn't into music. It's great. 
Okay, let's talk about uh, the direction you want the channel to go. What is your ultimate goal uh, for the direction? And you said you're going to be doing a lot of uh, teaching channels. So why don't you delve into a little bit of that and tell us uh, what your viewers are going to be seeing it, seeing as far as your uh, teaching videos. Well, uh, in a few weeks, I think uh, probably the next week after this channel, after this video goes live, I'm going to start doing a teaching series on how do we know that the Bible is the Word of God. I think that there's, uh, there's a lack of, of information out there. A lack of, there's, if, and I go through uh, step by step. I prove scientifically that the Bible is the Word of God, something that you can't even deny. I don't care who you are, any atheist. If you want to challenge me on this, you can. I'm, I'm open for that, but I'm going to lay it out pretty, uh, pretty thoroughly. In fact, the videos are going to be pretty long. Um, may, may get a little boring, but I, I think it's necessary to, uh, to lay out those proofs so that we have something that I have something I can point to concrete that if anybody wants to challenge me on my beliefs, there it is. Then after that, I'm going to do a series on the gospel uh, after a couple of more music videos. So and that's, and that's something I also feel is very important. I'm, I'm going to go very deep into it. I'm not just going to do a five-minute presentation. I think that there's a lot of those out there, and those are good. But uh, I also think that there's a need for a little more depth. Uh, people need to understand more than just the four law, spiritual laws. I think that there's a lot more to the gospel that it doesn't just... Uh, you, I mean, you don't have to know that much about the gospel to get saved, but the more you know of the gospel, the more your life can be transformed. And that, I really believe that. So I'm going to be doing a lot on the gospel. So, and there's a lot of other teaching videos I have in the mix coming forward. I'm going to do some things about faith. Um, there's just a lot, of, a lot of topics that I'm working on. But in the near future, those are the next two series that I'm, that I'm going to be doing. Great. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this interview today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, or you can email me at nicholascomstack at gmail.com. And remember to subscribe to WCNN and also The Preaching Musician. You'll be blessed, hopefully, by both channels. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.